Um, I think that within the community, we're quite proactive. Or I, I, I see that we're quite proactive and there's a lot of care and concern and help and resources and information for <clears throat> anybody that is interested in safer sex practices, um, information. Um, not well. I, I think that the the struggle and all of the activism and challenges of, of getting HIV recognized and getting funding and getting treatment. Um, I mean, we've seen a lot of different phases of that. I, um, in the 80s, I used to go to memorials at least one a week and sometimes two a week. It was, it was unbelievable. Um, and now, I think that luckily we do have a lot of treatment and it's helping people live longer lives. The downside to that is that um, I think people don't think the same way they did previously. It used to be if you get AIDS, you die. And now it's if you get AIDS, um, it's inconvenient. Well, I see, I see there's like bits and pieces of the gay community who realize that um, whether it's a moral obliga obligation or whether it's a, you know, a passion for, you know, wanting to sustain the quality of life, there's a few bits and pieces of our community that do um, a part and I don't say their part because I think it's our community's part as a whole to do something about it but it's not you know as life-threatening and so I think that we are not um, being as responsible with safe sex as we were when we found out what caused AIDS because of the treatment. I recently visited San Francisco and um, went to the Castro and um, got to walk the streets of, um, you know, where, where the movement, you know, began, the epidemic began and, and all that stuff. And, you know, for me, it was, it was really intense. Um, it's different to see the way that like San Francisco has San Francisco's community deals with it and the way that you know specifically like our community in Seattle deals with it down there there is nothing secret about HIV it's flyers posters and, and all the stores everything here it's still a little bit like you know at the back of the coffee shop or at the back of of the doctor's office there's like a few pamphlets that say what you should know or do you think you are